Welcome to the mysterious story of the tunnel within the tomb of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Seti I. First heard from legendary member of the Abdel Rasul family, Sheikh Ali Abdel Rasul, who owned the Ali Marsam Hotel on the West Bank at Luxor, the tunnel was discovered by Giovanni Belzoni in 1817. Since then, it has remained an enigma to archaeologists and explorers, and Egyptologists have been hesitant to excavate it due to potential damage to the magnificently decorated tomb. Today, we will delve into the history, discoveries, and efforts to understand this mysterious tunnel. On October 17, 1817, Belzoni located the stairway leading to the entrance of the tomb of Seti I. The following morning, the tomb revealed itself as one of the largest and most beautiful in the Valley of the Kings. Though the tomb's furnishings had been looted, its exquisite polychrome bas reliefs and alabaster sarcophagus marked it as a significant discovery. Belzoni left a detailed description of his exploration in a monumental monograph, but his work inside the tunnel remained limited to accessible sections. Between 1817 and 1903, there are no records of further explorations. The tunnel, however, was visited by travelers and scholars, with Sir Gardner Wilkinson providing the most detailed account in his 1843 publication, Modern Egypt and Thebes, being a description of Egypt. Wilkinson noted that debris from fallen rocks and walls had made the tunnel difficult to enter without excavation and support. In 1903, Howard Carter, the chief inspector of antiquities, carried out major restoration work in Seti I's tomb after many reliefs had fallen from the ceiling and walls. He attributed the collapses to the unstable condition of the fragile Tafla stratum, supporting the limestone stratum in which the tomb was carved. Carter filled holes and gaps with red brick masonry, built brick arches at the entrance of the tunnel, and performed some cleaning. However, his report lacked a detailed description of the tunnel and its condition. In 1960, Sheikh Ali Abdel Rasul secured permission from the Antiquities Department to work on Seti I's tunnel. Raising funds through the press, he set out to uncover its secrets, but ultimately faced numerous challenges. The unstable tafla of the tunnel caused accidents and hindered progress, while workers struggled with the lack of fresh air in the enclosed space. Despite Sheikh Ali's efforts, including the use of wooden beams and gypsum for support, the excavation was eventually terminated. Years after the abandoned excavation, Sheikh Ali insisted on showing the present author the tunnel. Although it was difficult to see inside due to poor lighting and debris, Sheikh Ali made the author promise to excavate the tunnel if they ever became an important archaeologist, with the credit going to Sheikh Ali. When the excavation team began their work, they discovered remnants of Sheikh Ali's efforts, such as air compressor pipes, digging tools, and personal items, which further substantiated his story. In November 2007, the Supreme Council of Antiquities decided to excavate the tunnel in KV-17. The goals included studying the soil mechanics, protecting the burial chamber from debris, conserving the tunnel using steel to support the ceiling, installing a railway system to remove debris, building wooden stairs for movement, and assembling a team to work under the author's direction. The decision to proceed with the excavation aimed to end the debate about the function of Seti I's tunnel which had been a subject of concern among scholars for years. The tunnel's structural stability was a significant issue, especially after Abdel Rasul's work that led to severe swelling and shrinkage of the Esna Shale, causing the tunnel's catastrophic deterioration. The complete discovery of the tunnel inside Seti I's tomb reveals that it was cut through three main geological formations, the Tarawan Formation, the Esna Shale Formation, and the Member First Marl of the Thebes Formation. This information was not available prior to the excavation. The tunnel's structure provides an opportunity to study these geological formations and the Esna Shale slash Tarawan formation sequence. The tomb's architecture and decoration have been deteriorating since its discovery in 1817 due to the swelling and shrinking of the Esna Shale, humidity changes, and treasure hunters. The tunnel's dimensions are estimated to be 2.6 meters in height and 2.6 meters in width. Based on some intact points and well-preserved sections, some visible cracks in the brick vaults have been monitored since November 2007 and are proving to be stable. 
After the excavation, the total accessible length of the tunnel is almost 135 meters. The discovery of SETI I's tunnel has brought forth crucial information about its architecture, geological formations, and the challenges it faced over time. It also highlights the importance of proper conservation and preservation techniques when working in ancient structures like these. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from history.